back to my channel, it's Caitlin here and today I'm coming at you with a high-end versus drugstore makeup tutorial, a dupe video, I'm not too sure how to title this video. But today I'm basically going to be doing a full face of dupes. So if you guys can tell right now what side is my high-end side and what side is my drugstore side, then let me know in the comments and also let me know if you're right at the end. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Also I do want to apologise for the fact that I missed Tuesday's upload. I am so, so sorry you guys, but I am just so overwhelmed with uni work right now. It's actually crazy how much is going on at uni and I am struggling to keep up with my uni work, no mind YouTube. So I am really, really sorry about missing Tuesday, but hopefully that will be the only video which I miss. And as you can see, I'm getting back on my schedule now and doing Friday's video, and I'm usually really good at sticking to my schedule. So I am really sorry about that. Also, my hair straighteners have broken, so I have my hair tied up at the moment, but I'm really sorry my hair looks a little bit of a mess today. So apologies for that. And also, before we do get started, I just want to quickly mention that on my Instagram, I have posted this photo here, and I am planning on filming a Q&A this coming Sunday, which will be hopefully Tuesday's video. So if you want to head over to my Instagram and leave a comment and a question on this photo, then hopefully you'll be featured in my Q&A, which I'm filming on Sunday. So that is all I wanted to mention and apologize for and all that kind of stuff. I'm now just going to get on and into the video so I hope you enjoy. Please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and let's just get into the video. So please excuse my hair and my really bad skin at the moment. I don't have any hair straighteners and I'm super stressed at the moment so my skin is just not doing well. To start off with primer on my high end side I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Radiance Primer which looks like this and then on my drugstore side I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer. These both give a really lovely dewy glow to your skin and I think they're definitely good dupes for each other so I'm going to be using these two to get us started. I'm so not used to using like half the amount so I've now just used far too much. Oh my goodness. So moving on to foundation, I kind of struggled with finding a good foundation that was a dupe for a high-end one. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and then on my drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Both of these are far too dark for me, as you guys can see, so I'm going to be using some lightning drops to lighten them up. But, as I said, I'm not 100% on this dupe. I honestly just don't own that many high-end foundations, and also the foundations are all in different shades. So it's really difficult to compare and select something that's an exact match, because everything is just in different shades. looking pretty similar. I'm really happy with how that turned out. So now for concealer on my high-end side I'm going to be using the Clinique Airbrush Concealer and then on my drugstore side I'm going to be using the MUA Undressed Your Skin Concealer and they're in really similar packaging as well. These are brightening concealers so you use them underneath your eyes and on your highlighting areas. So firstly on my high-end side a little bit up there. Now for my powder on my high end side, I'm going to be using the NYX HD Photo Finish Powder. I know that NYX isn't a high end brand, but it's a little bit more on the expensive side compared to MUA. So on my drugstore side, I'm going to be using the MUA Ultra Fine Loose Setting Powder and these products are so, so similar, especially the packaging as well. So I'm going to be using these two on both my sides today. Thank you. 
One thing which I am noticing about the concealer on this side is that it's a little bit glittery which is not what you get on the Clinique side so just one difference which I'm already noticing is that my skin just looks a little bit glittery on this side which is a bit odd. Moving on to bronzer and blusher I'm going to be using the NARS duo here which has the Laguna bronzer and the orgasm blush inside and then on my drugstore side I'm going to be using this duo here which is by e.l.f. and it has such similar shades inside a bronzer and a blusher so I'm going to be using these two and I'm going to test out and see if they're the same because they do look so, so similar. So I'm going to be using these two. So I think I'm looking pretty similar so far. And now I'm just going to use the blusher from these duos as well. I don't think the e.l.f. one is quite as pigmented but they still look really really similar so I think it's definitely a really good dupe. Moving on to highlighter, my dupe for you guys today is the Anastasia Glow Kit on my high end side and then for my dupe I'm going to be using the Lottie Shimmer Squad highlighter which just looks so so similar to the Anastasia Glow Kit and honestly this product is amazing for pigmentation and colours, it's such a good product. So this is what they look like side by side, obviously there's a more paler shade in the Lottie one and then this one here is just a little bit more yellow but as for the three other shades they are so so similar and I think they are such a great dupe for each other. I think the shade which I'm going to use is going to be dipping in gold in the Anastasia and then on this one I'm going to use Queen B. So this is what the two look side by side, even the one below it as well. If you cover the yellow one, these three just look so crazy similar. They're just so similar, it's actually crazy. Okay, so I've just gone away and done my eyebrows because honestly, as much as I do own both drugstore and high-end eyebrow products, I don't feel like any of them are a perfect match for each other. So I just did my normal eyebrows and then I'm going to move on and do eyes. For my high-end side, I'm going to be using my beloved Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And then on my drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Revolution New Trails V's Neutrals palette. And I love it so, so much. It's such a good dupe for this one. And also, it's just such a good palette in general. So these are what the palettes look like on top of each other. They're not the exact same, but they are really, really similar shades. I'm firstly just going to start off on my high-end side with this pale tempera I think it's called shade and then on my drugstore side I'm going to take this shade here from the Revolution palette. So next up on my high-end side I'm going to take this pinky mauve shade from the Anastasia palette and then from the drugstore palette I'm going to take this shadow here. Okay, I literally cannot tell a difference. They are so, so similar. Now, to darken up this look, I'm going to be taking Red Ochre from the Anastasia palette. And then on the Revolution one, I'm going to be taking this one here towards the end. And then finally, for my inner corner, I'm going to take the shade here, which is Vermeer from the Anastasia palette. And then from the Revolution palette, I'm going to take this shimmery shade here and use that on my inner corner. I'm 
also just going to pop that on my brow bone as well. And then for my eyeliner today on my high end side I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner and then on my drugstore side I'm going to be using the Collection Extreme Liquid Liner. Finally, to finish off my eyes, I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash on my high end side, and then on my drugstore side, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and this is a new one. I need to take the packaging off this one. So to finish off with lips, on my high end side I'm going to be using Velvet Teddy by MAC and then on my drugstore side I'm going to be using Cookie from Colourpop. I know Colourpop is not so accessible for people in the UK so I would also recommend as a dupe for the Velvet Teddy by MAC is a lip liner. This one is by Kiko and it's in the shade 700. Okay, so now that I've actually put them on my lips, they do actually look quite different. So instead, I think I'm going to go over this side and use the NYX Lingerie Lipstick in the shade... What shade is this? Bedtime Flirt. I think I'm going to use this one instead because it looks a little bit more similar. So that was definitely a 10 times better match with the NYX liquid lipstick. I think I've got them looking pretty similar now. So those were all the products which I had to go through. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching. If you do try out any of these dupes then definitely let me know down in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys! Keep it down. Yeah.